एवरीवन अ वेरी वेरी गुड इवनिंग वेलकम टू येट अनदर वंडरफुल सेशन यस हे पलक गुनगुन टैगोर अनीता भव्या कनक राजू अर्नाव स्नेहा हे एवरीवन हेलो हाउ आर यू ऑल डूइंग टुडे यस आई होप यू ऑल आर एक्साइटेड फॉर द सेशन वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अ न्यू टॉपिक हे सृष्टि आई एम डूइंग गुड थैंक यू Yes, hey Uma. I can see a lot many new names over here today. Nimrit, excited a lot. Wow, I can see lots of hearts in the chat section. Perfectly visible and audible. Great. Yes, yes, yes. A new topic. Nimrit, Bhavya, Devendra, Uma, Vedika, Ritika, right? Because you are using a different name, so I have to recall actually what your real name is. Hi Prakash, Gungun, Papiya. Thank you, Palak. New in the live class. Well, I'm sure that you would love the session, Arnav. Kanak Raju. All right, all right. So I can see that you all are very excited, and your excitement I can see in the chat section. Hey Rekha, Srishti, can't wait. Yes, I can't even wait here. So, a new topic we have today. It's about. the pie charts how many of you actually know something about pie chart any previously learned knowledge anything excited to learn it yes favorite chapter in math yes indeed it's i would say it should be everyone's favorite because it is a very easy chapter yes right anita so i right ritika so actually i remembered the name chapati chart <laughs> all right so before we start Of course, Trishti. Absolutely, love data handling. Right. All right. So let's get started. So before I properly start the session, let me just tell you, walk you through the content that we are going to discuss today. First, we will be talking about what pie chart is actually, because first time we are learning this. So first, we need to know what is it actually. Second, we will try to calculate the percentages. Yes. Correct. See, it's everywhere around us. Again, we can say that. Right. Then we will talk about how to calculate the angle of a component. We will end the session by talking about a poll, discussing a poll question. So are we all ready? Yes. But before I start, let me just give you an important update. So this is the Byju's mini learning program that is free now, and it's a limited period offer. We've already talked about this, so I hope that all of you have actually tried it. Yes. Quickly tell me who all have actually checked this out, and for the ones who are new here, let me tell you that to avail this offer, you have to use this code YT free. All are in caps over here. Yes. Swasti, don't worry. I will be I will be covering all the chapters that are a part of your syllabus. Okay. So what all we we are getting here? So three sessions, absolutely free of cost, if you use this code YT three. So so many benefits we are getting here. Two teacher advantage. Wow, that's amazing, isn't it? One on one guidance from a personal mentor. Live interactive classes. So I'm sure that if you're loving these classes that we are having here, I'm sure you would love the app in then. Yes, Nimrat. But I never forget the names. Yes, I hope you enjoyed Anupam. Yes, yes, absolutely. Yes, Arnav. Okay, okay. So, and after class assignments and assessments also. Best thing is you can choose the class timings as per your convenience because obviously everyone has a different routine. So, keeping that in mind, we have come up with this. Also, for whatever subjects you want to take the class for. Yes, three classes absolutely free. Just use this code. Since it is free, everyone can try it, right? Yes. All right, and I hope that you all have joined the Telegram channel. If you haven't yet, please do join it. Link is there in the description. For the ones who have joined it, they're already aware of what all benefits we have. But for the ones who are new here, let me tell you session that we do here. The session PDFs. Their PDFs would be shared on the Telegram channel. You would get revision questions, some interesting Sunday facts, homework questions, quizzes, and yes, session updates. Sorry, Palak, I think I have missed your question. Can you please post that again? Yes. charts like pizza right pie charts yes yes you're liking it wow that's great shri enamala jagdamba already joined that's great see 
Shrishti, that's what. It's important to learn all the topics. Let's suppose if it is not a part of your syllabus at this point of time at and in this class, but it is used everywhere in life, right? Later on, when you move to the higher classes, it will be used. So in that case, we need to learn this thing. Don't just be dependent on what is coming in the syllabus. Don't just restrict yourself there. Thank you, Rekha. All right, so are we all ready? Shall I start? So one thing, the link for both the Telegram channel as well as for the app, it's there in the description. After this session, please do go check that out. Quickly tell me how many of you are actually going to check this? Yes, Trishti, that's what I'm talking about. Percentages, right? But it's, it is important, right? A lot many times we use here. Let me give you an example. Let's suppose if I ask you to calculate your marks, your marks that you've got in maths. If I ask you the maths marks percentage, how will you calculate it if you haven't learned it, right? So knowledge will never go waste. Yes. Yes, Bhavya, Arna, Vishwa, Jyotsna. Hey, Yankur. Nidhi. Yes, Nidhi. Yes, yes, yes. Percentages. Lot many students are saying, yes, it will be used. Ah, Ritika. Yes, I guessed it right. Yes. Yes, Palak. Absolutely. It will be beneficial. See, math. Math has its own language, right? So it is not going to get waste. Absolutely not, Rudrani. I just saw your comment. Chayanika. A lot of new names I can see here. Riya Sharma. Okay. I'll try remembering it. Doing good. Thank you, Jotsna. Thank you, Ritika. All right. So let's get started. As I said, one by one, I'll be discussing all these topics. So let's start off with the first one. That is what is pie chart. So first, to make it more simpler for you, since it is the very first time we are learning it, let me give an example. Let's consider a scenario. So I'm considering the time spent by a child during a day. You can see the circle over here. Or I know that some of you will call it a pizza in slices, right? So here you can see that it has been partitioned. Different, different proportions you can see here in different colors, right? Now, let's suppose this child spends six hours in schools, Nine hours of studies, very studious, I must say. Yes. Six hours sleep, one hour he relaxes and the last two hours for having food. This is his timetable. That's how he's spending time the entire day. So what we have done here is, yes, correct, Papiya. It's a pizza chart. That, I knew that you were going to say that. So here what we can see is that this is a circular graph which is actually showing us a relationship between a whole and its parts. Whole means the entire circle. So what we have done here, it's a type of graph in which a circle is actually divided into different, different sectors, into different, different parts, into, right? Where each part is actually representing a proportion of the whole. So I can say that here, whole circle is representing 24 hours, right? And each smaller section is representing how much time this child is spending on that particular task. Correct, Papiya. I saw that comment. Yes, I hope everybody is able to understand this. Right? This entire circle over here, this is representing 24 hours. And every section, every, you can see every portion over here is showing how much time he is spending. Yes. Correct. Good way to understand. Pizza as a pie chart. Yes. I knew that once you see this, this is the first thing that's going to click your mind. Yes, that was, I was wondering, what kind of child is, is it? Nine hours of study, oh my God, after school. <laughs> all right, all right. That's great, Palak. All right, so we have understood what a circle chart is. Now, let's move ahead to the next topic, how to calculate percentage. Very important, right? Because this is something that we can use, we actually use in our everyday life also. A lot many times we calculate it. Papiya, five to six hours if you are studying every day, I mean, that's good enough. Oh, pizza, yeah, dila, yeah. yeah. Even, I am, I, I am, even I am feeling hungry now. Yes, six hours is good, Arnav. Right. All right, so here, I'm using the same example. My voice is not clear. I hope everybody is able to hear me properly. Yes. Quickly, if you are able to hear me properly, give me thumbs up and smileys. Correct exam marks also, right? Rising Sun, I think it's working fine for others. Please refresh again. Clear, great. 
Rudrani, that's too much. Eight hours. Wow. Loud and clear. Great. It is fine, Palak. And you don't need to study more than that. If you are able to do it, that's good. But if you are not able to do it, still it is fine. Okay. So as I said, we'll be try. We will try learning how to calculate percentage. It is very simple. Let's suppose if I have to calculate how much time the child is actually sleeping. How much time the child is sleeping? Six hours, right? So we write that part in the numerator. In the denominator, we write the total total thing. That means total number of hours, twenty four hours. So six hours by twenty four hours. The day, I mean the units are same. So six times one, six times four. That's going to be one by four. This is the proportion. But to calculate percentage, we always multiply with hundred. So once you cancel this out, four times one, four times two is eight. This becomes twenty. Four times five is twenty. So twenty five percent. I would say twenty five percent of the time he is spending on sleeping. Actually, correct. Pala, kiska din kab khata mota hai? Good question. Okay, Diksha. All right. Yes, I hope this is clear to everyone. How to calculate the percent? I have picked up a very simple example to make it simpler for you. So we use this example, right? Right. Okay, Diksha. Yes, clear. Great. Let's move ahead. Now let's suppose if I try calculating the percentage for each of these tasks. Now you tell me, sleep is twenty five percent. Let's suppose how many hours the child is studying. Can you calculate the percentage for me? Yes. I hope everybody is ready with the notebooks and pens. That's good, Ritika. So I tell you something. When you are watching our sessions, like when you are taking the live session, it's better that for the math specially, ideally you should do that for all the subjects. But for especially for math, since it is subject that will come with practice only, it's better that you are ready with your notebooks and pens so that when I am explaining you, you can solve along with me. Trust me, if you are solving along with me. You will have a better understanding in that case, and even after the session, you will not have to revise the topic again. Otherwise, you will have to take out some extra time to revise the topics that you actually learned today, right? This way, we can save on our times. And another important, uh, you know, advantage that you have is, let's suppose when you are solving, trust me, when we solve things, we we might come across something. Let's suppose I'm not able to calculate it, or if you are stuck anywhere, you can ask your doubt then and there only, right? I can understand that, Palak. Yes. All right, all right. One minute. You need one minute. Everything is handy. That's great. Nidhi is saying it's going to be thirty-six percent. Quickly, everybody, calculate it. And please do not use calculators. Yes, I think this is something that I've told you earlier as well. Not to use calculators. It's only going to reduce your efficiency. Thank you, the rising sun. Yes. We have to do smart work instead of hard work. Correct. So I think this is the right way to do it. While learning the concept, solve with me. That's smart work, right? Yes, yes, yes. I'm waiting. Correct, Arna. So you watched that video. That short video, especially I made for you guys, so that everybody should know. Because a lot many times students do make this mistake. When they are solving at home, what they will do is they'll keep the calculator with them, and they are like, okay, okay, I can just. Quickly finish it. Let's get over with it. Don't do that. Have patience. Yes, never use calculator while solving. Okay, so I can see answers over here. Thirty-six percent. See, when I am asking about studying, studying hours are nine. Nine by twenty-four. Three times three, three by eight. So three by eight into hundred, right? That's going to be what? Three hundred by eight. Let's divide it. What are we going to get? What are we going to get? Three hundred by eight. That's going to be thirty-seven point five percent. See calculation error. That's what I'm saying. You, we have to be really good with our calculations. Yes, quickly. Why are we saying thirty-six? Let's divide it. Let's divide it. Eight, thirty-three. Eight times three is twenty-four. Right? This is six. We take zero down. Yes, eight seven eight times seven is fifty six. We have four here. Put the decimal. Put the decimal. Keep. We can take a zero here. Eight times five is forty. So what do I have? Thirty seven point five percent. Come on, what is happening? And how is it possible that everybody is making the same mistake? Please do not copy from chat. Yes. No, 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 no copying. No answer copying. No tukka. Nothing. It's okay, Sneha. Yes, it's going to be thirty seven point five percent. Next, calculate for me for school. 
How many hours the child is spending in the school? Calculate the percentage quickly. Yes, it's six hours. Now we know that we do have to do six by 24 times 100. Yes, calculation mistake. See, that's what I was talking about. We have to be really efficient because in maths, what happens is generally our focus is on learning the concepts, right? We don't really focus on, you know, calculations. We feel that calculation is something we already know it, right? I'll do it in the paper. That's not the right way to do it. I can see answers over here. Yes, you all are right. 25%. Rekha, please refresh the screen. It should work. Okay. Similarly for food, that's going to be 8.33%. Now calculate for me the number of hours he is relaxing. That's one hour. Calculate the percentage. Yes, quickly. <clears throat> percentage for relaxing. Uh, who is saying 16? Arnav says 16 is going to be there. Nidhi says Rana. I'm sorry. Nidhi says 4. Yes. Nidhi says 4%. Exact. Nidhi, exact number. I need the exact number. Like, obviously, it's going to be in decimals. Till now, I haven't seen the right answer. Joseph. Yes. Yes, quickly, quickly. I haven't seen anybody, not even a single answer I've seen correct till now. Okay, so see, what this is going to be, rela relaxes, relaxing time is 1 hour, 1 by 24 into 100. So 100 by 24, that will give you 4.16, 100 by 24, right? That is going, that's simple, right? Let's cancel this out. 2 times 12, 2 times 50, 2 times 6, and this is 2 times 25. 25 by 6, if I divide it, yes, puppy, it's between 4 and 5, so it's 4.16%. Nobody gave me the exact number. Arnav, I hope your doubt is clear. Palak, yes, Ritika, 1 by 24, but you have to multiply that with 100 to convert into percentage. Yes, Rika, please ask if you have any doubt. So I hope this is clear to everyone. Quickly, yes, Bhavik. I can see that, I, I feel that everybody is busy doing the calculations now. But it's good if you're doing it by all by yourself. That's what I want. So that after a few days or few weeks, I want that you are efficient in calculations also. Yes. Sri Anumala Jagdamba, Dhirendra. Yes, correct. Yours is wrong. It's going to be 4.16%. Yes, Papiya. Exact number now. I hope now you are able to see where you went wrong. All right, all right, let's move ahead. Now, interesting thing I'm going to tell you, crystal clear, great. Did you know that a pie chart is also called a circle graph? That's what we saw in the previous slides, yes? Sorry, I forgot, yes, Uma. That's what I don't want. I do not want that you keep wasting time on calculations. Yes, Srishti, I hope that your doubt is clear now. So whenever we are coming for the maths class, we will come with the notebooks and pens. We will do the calculations together. Right? Quickly, thumbs up, smileys. This is clear. Okay, let's move ahead to the next question. It's okay, Gungun. -gun. Whatever you have missed, recorded session would be there. You can watch it later. All right, lots of thumbs up I can see now. Yes, Uma, Dhirendra, Arnav. Yes, pizza chart. Correct. Next time onwards, be ready with it. Okay, so let's try out this question. The given pie chart tells us about 300 people's favorite pets. Total people, 300, okay. That's how we read a question. You, we pick up the keywords, right? See, even while solving the questions, I keep telling you how to actually, you know, interpret the questions. But sometimes we miss out these small, small things. That's why I keep emphasizing on them. So using these, these, this answer, the following questions. First is how many people like dogs? And how many people like cats and fishes? You can see the percentages given over here for all of them. I can see answers over here. Ganita, Ganita. Am I pronouncing it right? I don't know. <laughs> All right. If you get it, give me also, Uma. All right. So, here when, how many people like dogs, right? Dogs, that is 50%. 50%, whenever we have to remove the percentage symbol, we write 100 in the denominator. And what is the total number? 50% of what? 50% of this total number 300. That's going to be 150. Mayank has now joined the class. 
Yes. That's going to be 150, right? Great. Everybody understood this. Moving to the next one. How many people like cats and fishes? For both of them, we are going to calculate. Yes, Vrinda. Vrinda says cats and fishes is going to be 45. Yes, your answer is correct. But how are we actually arriving at this answer? So cats, they are 5%. So 5 by 100 into 300 plus fishes. Fishes are 10%. 10 by 100 into 300. Let's cancel out the zeros. We have 15 Plus, let's cancel out zeros from here as well. We have 30. So we get 45 at the end. That's the final answer. Very simple one. Yes. Mayank, Lakshmi, Nidhi, Vrinda. Vrinda has given the right answers. Yes. Srishti. Khushi. Rabbits. Only rabbits. Uh, rabbits are 5% of 300. 5% of 300. That's going to be 15. Rabbits are 15. Yes, Trishti? Okay, okay. I hope this is clear now. No doubts? Cat is 15%. Cat is 15%. Cat is 5%. Yes? Don't write percentage it, percent with it, Palak. Now we have the exact number. How many? Question is not asking us about the percentage. Don't use... Percentage symbol along with it. You have converted the percentage to the normal number now. Okay. Do not make such mistakes. Cats are 5%. But number of cats, if you ask me, they are 15. Name is Itcha. Sorry. I thought, okay. All right. Yes, Rick. Absolutely. So when we are saying, when we are saying the cats are 5%, question is asking us how many people are liking cats. We need the exact number. 5% means 5 by 100 into 300. 5% of what? There must be some whole thing, right? Because percentage is a proportion about a whole thing. So 100, this will cancel out. We have 15 here. Plus, dogs are, I'm sorry, fishes are 10%. 10%, 10 by 100 into 300. Cancel this out. You have 30. 15 plus 30, that's 45. That's okay, Palak. I hope this is clear. Yes. Alright, so this was about the percentages. I think now we have very well understood how to calculate the percentage. Okay, I'm moving back to the previous slide. Yes, you are saying why we are multiplying with 300. 5% is what? I'm saying, let's suppose, let's suppose, let me give you a very simple example. You go to a shop and I say, and you want to buy this pen. Every time I give you the example of this pen, you might be thinking, because I, know, I have no another thing over here. So let's suppose you want to buy this pen. You ask me, what is the cost of this pen? I say the cost is 100. Or let's suppose you ask me, what is the cost of this pen? I say it's, it's for rupees 100. And... No, you're not, you don't seem to be very interested in buying it. I say, I'll give you 50% discount on this. So 50% is going to be what? 50% of 100 is going to be what? Quickly, I want answers. I remember the 100 rupees deal, my unk, yes. Correct, yes. So 50% is going to be rupees 50. How did you calculate it? You actually considered, you actually factored in that rupees 100 as well. 50% of 100. That's why we are using 300. 50 rupees deal. Very smart. All right, let's move ahead to the next topic. Now we will learn how to calculate the angle of a component. I'm using the same example here as well. It will be very easy for you to understand. Now this time you can see that I've represented each of the proportion in percentages. Like school time is 25%, food is 10%, relaxing time 5%, sleeping hours 20%, study 40%. Lots of thumbs up. I can see that the chat is flooded with thumbs up. Amazing. All right. So calculate the angle. Now we are going the other way around. Calculating the angle. First you write down the percentage of that component, whatever we are talking about, upon 100 into 360 degree. Can anybody tell me why we are using 360 degree over here? Why 360 degree? Yes. Rekha, we multiplied with 300. We did not divide with 300. Yes, quickly tell me, why 360 degree? I need an answer. There's always reason behind everything, right? Correct, Sneha, because circle, entire circle is 360 degree. We don't have any quadrilateral here. We have a circle. Yes, a circle completes one round. That's 360 degree. You must have seen that ride in the, uh, in the amusement parks. 360 degree, right? That's how they generally name it. Such kind of rights. Entire circle is of 360 degree. Correct. That's why. 
Now, let's consider, let's calculate the angle component for each one of them. If I'm talking about sleep, sleep is 20%. So, 20 upon 100 into 360 degree. We will quickly calculate it. This will get cancelled. The 0 will get cancelled. 2 times 36 is going to be 72 degrees. Yes, Rudrani, absolutely. All right. Similarly, for studies, studies is 40%. So, 40 upon 100 into 360 degrees. That's going to be what? Let's, cal let's just cancel out these zeros. Sorry, I cancelled here. 36 times 4, that's going to be 144 degrees. Yes. Giant wheel, right. At some amusement parks, it is named as 360 degree. Correct. Talking about school. For school, it's 25%. So, 25 by 100 into 360 degree. 25 times 1, 25 times 4 is 100. 4 times 1, 4 times 9 is 36. 0 as it is. It is 90 degrees. Yes, Neha, I've understood. Right. <laughs> All right. Moving to the food. It's 10%. So, 10 by 100 into 360. Let's cancel out. We have 36 degrees. Talking about relax. Okay. So, let's cancel this out. 5 times 1, 5 times 2, 2 times 1, it's 18. That's going to be 18 degrees. Now, if you add up all these, what will you get? This is a way to check your answer, to verify your answer. This total is going to be equals to 360 degree at the end. It has to be 360 degree exact, right? Because all these angles are going to make up a whole circle. Right? Jyotsna, Vedika. I hope everybody's understood this. Itcha, Palak. Yes. Quickly. Yes, we have to put degree as well. Crystal clear. Great. So we are done with these three topics. What is pie chart? Let's cal try calculating percentage. We learned how to calculate the angle of a component. Moving ahead to the last thing, that is poll question. I think that's the most amazing part of the session because you all like it. So here we have a poll question. The following pie chart represents the represents the number of students in a hostel. This is pie chart representing number of students in a hostel. They speak different languages. Find the percentage of students speaking Hindi and English. And you have 30 seconds to answer this question. Quickly, everybody. Yes. I want to see who answers this first. Uh, Mayank is the first one to answer this. Mayank is saying it's going to be C. Still, we have got 15 seconds more. Others can also try. Srishti is saying C. Please do try it or try it yourself. Do not copy your answers from the chat because it might be possible that the person who answered first, the person might be wrong. Vedika is saying it's going to be 70%. Okay, time is up. Let's check the answer. Yes, you all are right. That's 70%. I hope you all know how to calculate this. Yes, speaking Hindi and English. Hindi over here is 30, English is 40, right? So, it shows the number of students in different languages. Yes, I hope everybody has understood this. You tried and then answered. That's great. All right, so that was the last question of today's session, by the way. So, before we end the session, let me just remind you that link for the Telegram channel is there. Please do check that out and do join it. Now, we have a homework question as well. Following, follow, following data gives amount spent on the construction of a house. What is the percentage of expenditure of the cement? So, give your answers in the comment section after this session. Yes. And link for this as well is there in the description. Do not forget to use the code YT3. Three sessions you're getting at absolutely free. So, we have got you covered. So many sessions we have lined up for you from every Monday to Friday to make you exam ready. And if you're liking this session, quickly hit the like button. Yes, and share it with your friends also in your school groups, in your friends groups. So it can help, it can be helpful for others as well. And do subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet. Yes. All right. So I'll see you soon. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.